these pictures of the flat in which in which uh, Shraddha and the accused Aftab stayed for weeks together before this gruesome murder took place. This is the flat in which Aftab also went on to murder his living partner Shraddha in the most gruesome fashion. We described that for our viewers already. The body was in fact chopped into 35 pieces. And Arvind also got this report of the manner in which he actually bought a new fridge, kept the body parts therein, and then went about his work, went about business, continued to live in that flat like nothing had happened. Pictures of the flat in Delhi's Meheroli, where the accused lived along with the victim, accused of Tabameen, Punawala, with Shraddha. My colleague Rahul is getting us more details. Rahul, give us a sense of how this case took such a long time to be filed, given that this woman had disappeared. The family members have repeatedly spoken about the fact that she was not putting regular updates on social media, and that's when they filed a complaint. But it's taken about five months for the police to crack the, creek, the case. Absolutely, Sneha. Uh, and uh, the main reason behind this delay uh, is this fact that uh, the victim here was not uh, on talking terms with her family, uh, given the fact that she was not happy that her family members were not approving this uh, relationship with Aftab, and therefore she had moved along with Aftab, and uh, thereafter, uh, you know, uh, she, she stopped uh, talking to them. Uh, it was only after a certain amount of time when she stopped updating her uh, social media profile, uh, you know, her parents realized that uh, she was not updating and, and uh, there hasn't been any uh, where about, uh, about the girl. And therefore, they filed a missing complaint with Mumbai police and later on Mumbai police contacted Delhi police and following which Aftab, uh, uh, who was the uh, living partner of Shraddha, uh, he was taken into custody. Initially, he tried to mislead, uh, you know, Delhi police saying that uh, Shraddha had left him uh, you know, a couple of months back, and he was, uh, you know, she was not in touch with uh, him. Uh, however, when police put uh, after, uh, you know, to intense questioning, and it was then only, uh, you know, he spilled the bean, he confessed the crime, he said, and he narrated uh, these gory and gruesome details as to how on 18th of May he first strangulated Shraddha, and uh, then over the course of 18 days, uh, you know, uh, he chopped off body, uh, and in fact used to dispose of these body parts. Uh, in various, you know, forest areas of uh, Meroli. In fact, this Chhatrapur area, which he has clearly mentioned, where he used to go at a very li at a very lean period. You know, he used to walk around around 2 a.m. or early in the morning in order to avoid detection and suspicion, and used to throw uh, body pieces wrapped in in, in in plastic bags. And and this he did for almost 18 days after 18th of May, and then. Uh, you know, he tried to uh, uh, keep a very low profile. However, given the fact that uh, victim's family uh, approached Mumbai... Oh, God, again, be with us, Rahul Gautam. We're getting the inside track into the most chilling murder of Delhi. Both Aftab and Shraddha had come to Delhi on the 8th of May early this year. After that, one night, they stayed in a hotel in Paharganj. Well, they stayed in a hostel in Seja Dullab Jaf. Well, all the locations were reached by searching... On Google is what we are learning. So they left Mumbai, came to Delhi on the 8th of May, and 10 days later, Rahul Shraddha is murdered in this fashion. Family members weren't really in touch, and that's why all of this D Day has taken place, is what they're telling us. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. You know, as I was telling you earlier, also because of the fact that. Uh, Shraddha's family were not approving this relationship and were objecting to it. Therefore, Shraddha moved with Aftab in, in the national capital uh, to this South Delhi part area uh, uh, wherein uh, uh, they first stayed at a hotel in Sejuldab and later on they moved in this apartment uh, in Shatarpur. And obviously, uh, you rightly pointed out that on 18th of May when this crime took place uh, and then for over the course of uh, next 18 days, he was able to dispose, dispose of the entire body. This only shows that how confident he was after that you know he will not be uh, uh, he will not be able to 
uh, you know, get detected and he'll be able to evade arrest. Uh, as far as police uh, is concerned, what police forces are telling us that uh, Aftab is a well-read guy, he's an educated person and he clearly knew what he was doing. So therefore, it seems that uh, as far as Delhi police is concerned, they, they clearly believe that they have a very watertight case, there are electronic footprints, there are mobile locations which are going to have a what very watertight case. Although he has confessed to the crime, there are many things for which are yet to be recovered. For example, uh, the murder whip, uh, the, the weapon that was used to chop off uh, the body is yet to be recovered. Then there are a couple of body parts which are still uh, need to be recovered. And then only uh, you can expect that uh, as people are demanded, uh, you know, people are demanding strict, uh, stringent action and punishment for after saying that we should set up precedent for coming times for such gruesome cases. You know, Rahul, what I also want to know from you is that all this while, in the last five months or so, Aftab continued to live in the same house. When is it that the police really suspected his hand in all of this? What was he doing for five months? Where was he working? See, all these are initial details, but as I was telling you earlier also, uh, uh, when Mumbai police contacted Delhi police, it was then only uh, police started, uh, you know, searching for but, uh, uh, and then, you know, connecting dots, they were able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, spot on and detect after because as uh, neighbors, of, neighbors were telling police officials that uh, uh, it was one person, they were living partner called as after we used to stay with Sarda, and then only police was able to nab after Also, we have to understand that police uh, was obviously taking a lot of uh, uh, help and assistance from uh, uh, from uh, uh, cyber team, they were trying to establish a clear footprint as far as electronics are concerned, as far as detail footprints are concerned, and then only they were able to uh, nab Aftab. Also, I must tell you that when Aftab committed this gruesome crime, uh, he in fact uh, changed this flat and in fact uh, he moved on. Uh, uh, he moved along with one of his friends. This is what we are learning, how we get to be confirmed. But this is how he was able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, evade arrest at that point of time, he was able to avoid detection from Delhi police and also he was trying to uh, change his places, uh, you know, uh, where he was staying very frequently in order to avoid arrest. But one thing is very important here, as I was telling earlier also, what police forces are telling us that uh, it was a premeditated plan, it was a well-planned conspiracy where Asta clearly knew what he was doing, therefore he bought this fridge, this freezer uh, in order to, uh, you know, preserve these body parts in, in order to avoid odor and smell, he used to have agarbattis and, you know, incense sticks. So this only shows that uh, how he was fairly confident that uh, he'll be able to get away with it. But, uh, uh, you know, thanks to Delhi police and... Uh, they were able to nab uh, Aftab. In fact, now he has already confessed to the crime. And in fact, there are many things that have already been recovered. It's a watertight case as per Delhi police is concerned. And in fact, as many people are saying, you can expect that uh, it is going to be a... Precedent, uh, you know, uh, what, what we are learning uh, for, uh, for criminals to, uh, who could do and who could think of doing such gruesome uh, activities. Devida Asralam, come back to you for more on that horrific story that you are telling us about. Let's get you details of how this crime really was carried out.